I've done I've done smaller sculptures, only about this high. How high? This high. So what? Four, four or five foot is and, the highest. And, and how is, tall is this one? Um, well, twelve foot the bear, and then the base is three, so fifteen foot. Yeah. Which is quite a big step up. Well, I'm I'm from Bristol originally. Um, grew up here. Been here most of my life. I met pe people at the Bear Pit Improvement Group and it was all kind of came about really. The conversation started up. That's the inspiration right there. That's it, is it? And where did he come from? Um, toy shop in the galleries in Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> By chance, I sort of met, met um, Chris Chalkley, who's founder of People's Republic of Stokes Croft, which is just, just up the road. And started volunteering at, at PRFC. People's Republic of Statescroft is a community arts organisation which uh, does a lot of political activism in the area and is focused on, obviously, as the name suggests, Stokescroft and how to kind of help make the area better but using the skills of the local people. To see that connection that we've now actively got with the Bears is brilliant. I think uh, they, they got in touch saying they were interested in using design on, um, on a shirt. Uh, for the players to represent the city away. Um, I think obviously with the bear uh, being on the shirt this season is 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 a massive um, massive sort of honour for us. I think as as the rugby team to be able to show that off in what the city represents for us. <laughs> Pretty weathered. Yeah. This is where Ursa was made, right here where we're sitting, largely out of what we've find in, in the area. What is it, what's it got as its main structure? Um, well it's got an A, like an A-frame. Goes up to the halfway point, that's the strongest bit. And then goes up right and down to the middle. There's some great art um, that we've had on the shirts and um, I think yeah the story behind it is probably what means the most especially for me and the, um, the understanding of what it is that we're representing. My journey into the city every time I used to see it there standing proud and it's somewhere that I drive past on my way to training almost every day. Obviously the big message that we've got as soon as you walk into the HBC is we want to you know, inspire our community through rugby success. Every time you put on a bear shirt um, it's, it's special but to have something that's so synonymous with the city to travel around uh, the UK like you said to play in lots of different cities um, is pretty special and to, to be able to pull it on and have that little reminder um, again going back to that nostalgia piece um, and that feeling of home to be able to see that on the road is uh, yeah something pretty cool. And it's just a privilege to be able to to represent it and, and what it means. And we're aware like several of our directors have love rugby <laughs> and have, are really aware and have promoted to like explain to the rest of us how much work the Bristol Bears do for the community and seeing that symbol that has obviously been removed from its previous context being reborn in another one or expanded into another one um, and hopefully creating longer lasting links between us as well. It's an interesting and um, different um, collaboration between art and sport, two different worlds but they're both um, they're both conversation starters and um, they both have a strong sense of community. Being able to put on a shirt like this and support local artists or to inspire the next generation, but it ultimately comes down to, like you say, community and, and that's the whole package. That's not just us as rugby players going and coaching rugby or inspiring the next generation there. It's actually about bringing that vibrancy to the city. We've been exploring various ways that she can come back to life and it's uh, yeah, it's beautiful to see it coming back out into the world. Like sport isn't for everyone, but if you can tap into different markets and, and spread the net a little bit wider, if you can get in the arts community and, and have a collaboration, you reach more people. Um, and that's how communities thrive. It's not just by having one avenue of, of the same people. It's about having that diversity, that variety. Um, and I think that's something that Bristol does well to celebrate. Um, yeah, very uh, excited to see, to see what comes of it. Um, um, and, and proud, very proud, yeah. yeah. For me, I think obviously you've got your rugby, you've got your art, but sort of the meaning behind both of them is how it unites people together.